Hey guys, right, hopefully I'm going to be able to fix a problem I had with my Z5500s a while ago um, with audio coming out of HDMI from my telly. So it go from the PlayStation 5, HDMI, telly, HDMI, and then out for an optical into the Z5500s and it just never works basically. Um, it would always go Dolby Pro Logic and not Dolby Digital or DTS Digital or anything like that. And it was just a nightmare. I had a look around, um, did a little bit of research, and I was trying to find kind of like an audio splitter to see if that would work, um, and it never really found anything that I was confident with. Um, and I looked around on Amazon again, and I found an audio extractor, a HDMI audio extractor, um, which is kind of like a splitter. It's like a little box, HDMI goes in, HDMI goes out, optical goes out, and that's pretty much as simple as that. So. You can see it on your screen now, uh, this is the one I'm personally using uh, from a company called Ezco and that's just bought from Amazon UK. Put an affiliate link in the description if you want to link into it and obviously help out the channel if you want to buy it through that. If not, just search Ezco HDMI audio extractor and Amazon or eBay or wherever and buy that. Make sure it looks like this because this is the one I'm personally using and it works fine. So my setup, I'll my experience is a bit different to what they're actually telling you to do and it seems to work for me so feel free to follow even my advice or their advice. I have tried the way that they say and it just doesn't work properly for me so Nvidia Shield first. Um, it works exactly the same so I'll go for the Nvidia Shield because that's what I'm personally using it on at the moment. I did test it on my PlayStation 5. Uh, the main reason I don't use it on my PS5 now is because I only really play my PS5 when I'm streaming so also, obviously, if you want to check out the stream, it be in the link below as well, uh, twitch.tv forward slash jammerby. So yeah, anyway, enough of that BS. Um, basically, what I've done is from the NVIDIA Shield, HDMI out into the HDMI in of this ESCO audio extractor. And then you need a micro USB as well. As you can see, there's a power in here as well. So what I've done is got the micro USB into there and just plugged it into the NVIDIA Shield, or I did it with the PS5 as well. One thing to note, if you don't plug it into a powerful enough USB, uh, you may notice that the 4K drops or the HDR drops. I had so many issues with Disney Plus um, on the Shield because I plugged it into my monitor's USB. I don't know why, I just thought, oh, let's just plug it into there because the monitor's always going to be on anyway, but it doesn't work. So just make sure you're plugging it into, if you're using the Video Shield, just plug it straight in there. PS5, plug it straight in there and that's it. So once you do that, um, obviously just get the optical out of there straight into the Z5500s or whatever speakers you're using and then the HDMI out goes into your monitor or your telly or whatever. One massive confusion that I had with this is if you look on their official instructions, they have all of this like, oh, are you using 5.1 or 7.1 or all of this stuff. So I, I don't know why, I just never played about with it anyway. I left it literally as it is at the top um, and everything seems to work. And the HDCP works as well with uh, the PS5. You don't have to change any of the options on the PS5 at all. Just make sure it's in, I think, but I believe I've got it on 7.1, even though I have 5.1 speakers and it seems to work fine. So I think the audio extractor must just sort it out or it doesn't really make that much difference. With the, um, the shield, I have it set to 5.1 and come through and the sound's perfect. Sometimes I have it with films. If they're going through 7.1, I have to manually change the audio in Kodi just to make sure. But anything on Netflix, Disney Plus and stuff is perfect. So if you're just using it for that, it, it's fine. So yeah, again, just leave everything at the top. That's what mine is, exactly that. Um, one, two, three, four, five. All of them are facing up, which says off. It's very odd because um, I just tested it before I started making this video and I put three, four and five down, as it says on here. Um, you know, it's set EDID position to three, four, five to on. Um, and a HDMI cable less than three meters, which I have as well. And then the center channel was gone. So there's obviously something with the Z5500 specifically, maybe that you, it, it needs to be off for me. So again, if you're having any issues with the actual box itself, try and set everything to off and see how you go. Um, that's pretty much it, to be honest. It's, it's literally as easy as that. Uh, it's just solved all of my problems with the Z5500s. One thing to note on the shield, um, especially when you're on the main menu, it will show show the Dolby Pro Logic uh, and not the digital, obviously, because there's no digital content there. It's just the main menu, so it just caused a little bit of an initial panic and rage with me because I was like, "Oh, it's still not working!" But it actually was as soon as I went on Kodi and played something. It's digital, all fine. Um, Netflix fine, Disney Plus fine, Amazon Prime Video fine. Everything is fine. Um, so, yeah, if you have any troubles, let me know in the comments below. Um, I can try and help, uh, no promises, but I can give you as much help as I can. Um, obviously, again, the Amazon link is below. 
going to be trying to post in quite a few videos on here at least once a week um, and along with my Twitch schedule of two streams a week as well so if you want to check out any of that everything's below um, and yeah have a great day